If you can imagine an orchestra, the easiest way to describe it would be the musicians, each one specialized in an instrument, but we also have the conductor. The conductor is in charge of coordinating everyone's actions to produce a beautiful melody. Our brain works in a similar manner. We could descri roughly describe our brain as composed by excitatory neurons which process information coming from our surroundings, but not all of these neurons can act at the same time. And the inhibitory neurons in our brain are the ones that are in charge of coordinating their actions to produce appropriate responses. In Dravet syndrome, a mutation in the SCN1A gene which encodes the ion channel NAV1.1 renders this protein non-functional. That means that the inhibitory neurons are losing their baton and their ability to coordinate brain function. This means that the excitatory neurons have an increasingly stream of activity that we finally see as seizures. And unfortunately, we don't have a meaningful way of providing a treatment for these children. My PhD project aims to develop a gene therapy approach to deliver the correct copy of this gene into the brain of these children. We would like to use some viruses called adeno-associated viruses to deliver this copy into the brain. The problem is this gene is too big to fit into one of these viruses. That is why we have developed a way in which we can split the gene into two viruses. We aim for these two genes to join together into the same cell and then de deliver a functional protein. We have early evidence that when these two genes are expressed into the same cells, as you can see there, by electrophysiology we can detect a depolarization of the membrane. That means that the cells that have both viruses can actually act as if they were neurons and that we are actually delivering a functional ion channel to them. With this encouraging evidence, what we aim to do next is to test these viruses in a mouse model of the disease. The idea would be to at least ameliorate the symptoms and maybe in the future provide a better treatment for these children.